Welcome back. Meteorologist Dylan Godet here with the latest update from the Storm Prediction Center on our severe weather outlook for your day today into tonight and the overnight hours. Large portion of the country facing a risk stretching from just east of Dallas to Milwaukee. Wisconsin and everywhere in between dealing with a threat today, a large area under a level four risk, which now includes far western Kentucky. Taking a closer look here at home, so we got the level four risk for Paducah and uh, what far western Kentucky from Paducah eastward. That's where we have that level three risk, and that now has shifted eastward to include just to the west of Lexington, uh, right on the border there uh, with basically I-75 West included within that level three risk. That's where we have the highest threat of damaging wind gusts. Could also see some isolated tornado spin ups there into that air, that risk as well. It's a lot lower as you head a little bit further east. We're gonna lose a lot of that uh, threat during the overnight hours, and that's when we are expecting that threat to shift east into these locations. And so that's why it uh, goes down from a level three to a level two and eventually a level one into far eastern Kentucky. But that now includes all of the ABC 36 viewing area within a risk level. So make sure you are staying weather aware no matter where you're at. If you're in Frankfurt or you're in Pikeville, which is on the far eastern edge of this uh, risk, make sure you are uh, paying close attention to those forecasts and make sure you have a way to receive weather alerts tonight because we could get a lot of these warnings taking place well after you're asleep. So let's time things out. Rain and storms off and on throughout your day today. We're already seeing that out here uh, this morning. Now tonight, uh, well, this evening through the overnight hours is our main severe storm threat, and we'll time that out in future cast. We're also going to see the wind gusts really increasing tonight, and that will continue into Saturday when it's not raining at all. When we have clear skies on the way tomorrow afternoon or well, late morning into the early afternoon, that's when we may see the strongest gusts that we see uh, from this whole system. Max HD radar right now showing some rain stretching from eastern Kentucky, basically just along and north of our southern parkways here. So Mount Vernon seeing some moderate to heavy rainfall, Beattyville, Boonville as well. Uh, the Somerset area, Liberty there in the Casey County, Lincoln County seeing some rain. A little bit of a break though as you head up here to Lexington. We got a little bit of a break right now, but you see some heavier showers taking place just to our north, uh, just past through Georgetown and Sadieville into those locations. But this is that first round. We're not likely to see much of a severe weather threat, if any severe weather threat at all with these showers, but a couple rumbles of thunder will be possible. Now we do have a wind advisory that goes in place tonight. And that lasts through Saturday at 5 o'clock for Central Kentucky. For Eastern Kentucky, that's through 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. Wind gusts outside of any storms, possible uh, 50 to 55 miles per hour with some isolated gusts even stronger than that uh, in the cart. So that's what we have in store for your day today. Futurecast keeps those showers and thunderstorms around through much of your early afternoon. Now, late in the afternoon, Several trend, uh, several model trends show a little bit of clearing possibly taking place. Um, so don't be surprised to see some of that. That'll only add some fuel to our late evening storm chance as it will be likely tracking a strong line of thunderstorms that produce very uh, significant weather just to our west. That'll be moving through during your overnight. So around midnight, two o'clock, you start to see those impacts here locally. That threat shifts eastward as you head into the early morning hours of your Saturday and then by seven, eight o'clock, we're clear in terms of the skies, but that's when we're going to be dealing with our strongest winds as you head into the second half of your Saturday morning. So future cast wind gusts really increased this evening areas in red there 50 to 60 miles per hour out ahead of that main line. And then as you head into late morning, early afternoon tomorrow, large area under that 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts risk and some isolated areas could she see stronger winds than that. Now we also have some heavy rain on the way that could lead to some localized flooding concerns as well. Half inch to an inch and a half more of rain possible area wide. Also take note of this. So low to mid 60s tomorrow afternoon is what it's going to feel like. And then by the evening hours, it's going to feel much colder than that. Low 40s and upper 30s possible. So the rest of your day today, rain and storms off and on tonight. That's that severe weather threat. And then those gusty winds move in for your Saturday. Good news is drier for Sunday, Monday before storms on the way heading into next week.